now we are discussing the multiplexing now multiplexing means whenever the multiple devices which are sending the data their data is merged together and sent through a single medium so that is called the multiplexing multiplexing means combining the data of multiple devices together and send through the one so we can say that multiplexing means combined transmission of several devices and sent through single medium to understand the multiplexing let us focus on this diagram here you can see that there are uh, let us suppose that four lines are coming so let us suppose that there are certain devices we are assuming d1 is the device 1 device 2 device 3 and device 4 so these are the four devices from which the data is coming so data direction is in this particular way and there the data is merged and sent through the single channel so this is called the multiplexing means we are combining the data and sending through the one so we can also say that n devices share the capacity of one link so n devices sharing the capacity of one link the meaning is that they, there can be multiple devices it is not only four devices it can be let us suppose 20 devices and they are sending their data which is combined together then only from one channel or one medium the data is passing so this one is the multiplexing now you can see that in this diagram there is mux which is mentioned so that is called the multiplexer so here in the diagram the mux is written so this mux is the multiplexer which is going to multiplex all the signals so this is the multiplexer now what is that multiplexer so device which used for the multiplexing means multiplexing is achieved by the device that is called the multiplexer you can see that in the diagram there are four devices and by this multiplexer mux then they are moving through a single channel or the single medium that is the purpose of multiplexer which is doing the multiplexing so we can say that many data are combined into the one form that's why we can say that the multiplexer or the mux is many to one now afterward the next thing which we are having is demultiplexing demultiplexing is the reverse of multiplexing just like if the data is passing through this particular link and it is going to the last way there is the demultiplexer which is going to demultiplex that means it is going to divide again back to the same form so the combined signal is now divided back to the different different devices so that it can be processed so 4 to 1 it is the multiplexing then 1 to 4 again it is the demultiplexing so we can say that demultiplexing means it is used at the receiver end to separate the transmission so at the receiver end it is going to separate the signals which are combined and now it is going to send back to the original order for processing and the signals are sent back for the processing further means four are combined to one then one is again divided back to four and these are processed so now next we are learning is the demultiplexer you have seen that there is a demux which is mentioned here so this is the demultiplexer So here you can see that in the diagram the dmax is used so that is for the demultiplexing means one is divided back to the four and this device is doing the reverse of the mux multiplexer so we can see that so the device used for demultiplexing is the demultiplexer and the second thing about the demultiplexer is that it is one to many which is the reverse of multiplexer just like in the multiplexer the many devices data are combined to one so here one device here the one data is just divided back to the multiple devices so that is the one to many the next thing which we are learning under that is the path well path now you can see that the data of uh, different different devices are merged to the mux and they are sending through a single pipe 
so this pipe there we are moving is called the path so there it is mentioned that there is one link so this one link is nothing but this is the path so this is the path means there is only single path by which the whole data is transmitting so this one is the path so we can say that the path is referring to the physical link so any physical medium through which the data is moving so the data which is combined that is moving is called the path second thing is very important that is the channel so channel now here you can see that four channels are mentioned that means there are the four channels in this particular pipe now what is the meaning what are these channels see the path is only one that means through one particular physical link the data is moving but there are four datas which are moving so this is called the four channel that means in this pipe hypothetically there is the way of passing the four specific different different devices data so this will be the one data which is passing through here second data of device d2 third data of device d3 and fourth data of device d4 so they are passing that means four data can pass together that means four channels are there just like if i assume your cable tv in your cable tv only one wire is coming at your home so that is one link or one path now through this one wire there can be n number of channels just like you are having uh, assuming your mtv you are having your aaj tak or maybe you are having z news or z tv so these are the channels the wire is one channels are many so that's why one link four channel that means four specific data can pass through so here we can say that it refer to the portion of path that carries transmission data so this one is the channel which can which is the just like the portion of a path which carry the transmission data now i'm taking the example of multiplexing and demultiplexing and that example is cable tv well cable tv is the best example because you know that the, through a one wire there are multiple channels are coming and we can say that in the cable tv it can send the signal through the one coaxial cable so at your home you are having the coaxial cable which is coming and through that coaxial cable there is a different different channels which are coming so that means multiple signals are there which are coming through the single coaxial cable so single coaxial cable which is attached to your tata sky or maybe dish tv or maybe directly to the tv there the multiple channels are there so multiple channels are coming through the one specific link or the cable and second thing your cable box is going to demultiplex that to convert signal into the channels the meaning is that the cable box demultiplex so assuming at your tata sky or dish tv there is one wire which contain many channels so somewhere those channels are multiplexed and that's why through one wire they are moving now at your set up box or the dish tv they are going to convert back to the multiple channels using the demultiplexing so here the multiplexing and demultiplexing are used in the cable tv so that is the best example so this is all about the multiplexing and demultiplexing